Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are making a very simple aquarium light and for this we will need a small block of wood. So this wood, this block of wood is about uh, 3 cm wide and the thickness of this block is about 1.5 cm as you can see. So what we need to do is basically we need to take about, uh, about 10 or 15 cm long uh, block of wood. You can take a little longer if you want the height of the light to be a little longer. And in this block of wood, we need to make a small notch. As you can see, I've drawn this notch. Now this notch thickness will depend on, so this notch thickness will depend on your uh, aquarium glass thickness. In this case, we are building this light for a six millimeter uh, thickness glass aquarium. So I've measured about six millimeter on this here. As you can see, this is somewhere close to six millimeter. And what we need to do is we need to cut this middle part out about uh, about this much two or two and a half centimeter out and the thickness of this part that we are going to take uh, from this wood out is going to be about the thickness of your glass aquarium in this case it is six millimeter so let me just go ahead and cut the uh, this middle part out and then I'll show you in a minute I'm using a hacksaw because I don't have a proper wood saw and also with using a hacksaw you will get much cleaner cut Okay, now to make our job easier, what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to drill a small hole in there which will help us to take this middle part out. So once the hole is there, we can easily hack this part out and the middle part will easily come out. So let me just drill a hole there in the middle. Okay, so hole is there and now all we have to do is basically hack this part out and the middle piece will easily come out and this part will fit our glass thickness very easily and then we will attach our light on top. Okay, so as you can see I've cut the notch down and middle part is removed. This should be able to fit our 6 millimeter glass without any problem. Now let's move on to our second step. Okay, so let us attach some wire to our uh, holder. I've got this old cable lying around from a broken appliance. I think this was from a, a hair dryer. So let us attach this plug. So as you can see, there is the holder. And let's open the holder. That will make our job easier. You can simply push this out. And then just open up these screws. this one take your wire fold this in put it through the holes like that and then just screw it in That's one cable done. Let's do the other one. Again, fold it right to the wire plastic part. Pass it through the hole at the bottom. Let's open the screw a little bit more. There. And just tighten this up. Now attached, pass it through the, as you can see there is a small clip there to which the holder attaches and now to secure this we can simply screw the cap back in. Now it's done, let's attach our holder to our wood with some screws and let's see how it looks on our tank. Okay so I've got the holder here and this is the kind of holder that I'm going to attach. 
so as you can see our block of wood is not wide enough for our to accommodate our holder like this so instead of screwing our holder like this we will rotate our holder like that and now we've got wood on top as well as at the bottom so let's make a small mark in the hole and then we'll drill a small hole with the drill because we don't want to split the drill split the wood so we've got two holes let's drill them out with a small drill we don't want to drill all the way through we just want to make a small hole for the screw to go and that will be easier for the uh, for the screw to go into and that should be good enough let's make another one right here let's widen this up a little bit So our two holes are done. Now let us attach our holder. Put them here. We've got some screws. And because of our hole, it will be easier for us to screw our holder into. that's one done let's attach another screw at the bottom so our holder is now attached so our holder is now attached, let's put a bulb on it and see how it looks on our tank. Okay, so let's attach our T-bulb on our holder. So this is a simple 10 watt T-bulb. You can rotate this in either direction. You can also tilt this, which is also a good thing. And we're using this on a three feet, eight millimeter tank. So let's just put this on our tank. Uh, the one problem at the moment is that the bulb has a diffuser which is that white plastic part which will send light in all the direction so our bulb is now attached let's turn it on and see how it looks as is so as you can see the 10 watt bulb is very bright and for a 3 feet tank even the bulb is small in length this is plenty for this 3 feet tank and all the fish are looking great there is a couple of plants we've put in there there's my filter, some danios, a couple of guppies. As you can see, the tank looks crystal clear. Every leaves is shining bright and the gravel is also looking great. The only problem is this, uh, there's no di this, this diffuser, which is sending light in all the direction. We don't want that. So this is how the tank looks from the top. So now let us attach a couple of uh, a small piece of chart paper around the light so that all the light will not spill around our tank and most of the light will go into our tank and will not hit our eyes which will blind us a little bit and will, which will make uh, looking at the tank uh, a little harder. So by attaching this black chart paper all the light will go into our tank and will not go around or outside the tank and will not hit our eyes and it will the tank will be much more comfortable to look at so i'm basically using this a small chart paper which is white from the inside and black from the outside with some tape so let let's just put this on our holder and this black chart paper will prevent any light from coming out of the out of the tank and will hit will not hit our eyes now let let us put this contraption onto a tank let's just shift the light in the middle turn it on again and let's see how it looks so this is without the light and now let's turn on the switch and this is how the light the tank looks after turning on the light so as you can see the tank looks a little better after attaching that black paper black chart paper around it 
you can completely remove the uh, diffuser plastic but i don't want to remove it because the bulb is not completely waterproof and the plastic part will help prolong the life of the uh, bulb a little more and the bulb this setup look also looks very modern and very aesthetic if you do it very clean we've just put it together very fast and of course we can paint the wood black or do something attach a little cleaner uh, chart paper you can make it as clean as possible but as is the light looks very clean and the tank looks crystal clear every gravel every stone every leaf is shining and all the fish are looking great the colors are popping up everything is looking great now let me show you one other uh, way you can uh, modify this light so what i've done here is basically to give me a more downward angle instead of attaching the light to this straight part here uh, what i've done is basically i've attached another block of wood this one onto the wood and then attached my holder there and what this will give me is this will give me basically a little more downward angle so let us attach our t bulb again and again with the t bulb as i mentioned before uh, the t bulb can tilt up and down you can also rotate the t bulb around its axis which will make it a little more uh, easier to set up so this is a uh, one feet uh, cube planted tank i've attached this setup on this tank and again our black chart paper to prevent the diffuser from sending light all around our room light on and as you can see the tank looks really good crystal clear water the plants are looking really good there's a sing small fish there you can see small single cherry barb so this is at the bottom is some compost and on top of there is two three millimeter gravel and then we planted our plants so as you can see from the far the tank also look very great the light is not spilling because we've attached a black paper all the light is going into our tank and from the far the tank is also looking good so there we go this is my video on how to make a simple cheap aquarium light i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye